Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about a powerful function in Excel called XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP is a function that searches for a given value within a column and returns the corresponding value you're looking for from another column you specify. It can find exact matches, the closest available match, or even multiple matching results. With XLOOKUP, you can look in one column for a search term and return a result from the same row in another column, regardless of which side the return column is on. So just a note before we start, XLOOKUP is only available in Excel 2021 or later and Excel for Microsoft 365. Now let's see XLOOKUP in action. Suppose we have a table of donation records for a university detailing a person's name, the donation amount, and the year they graduated. We want to find out the donation amounts for specific people in this smaller table on the left. So we need to use XLOOKUP to do that. To use XLOOKUP, we need to provide three mandatory parts of the, the function syntax. First is the lookup value. So we'll go up to a formula bar and write our function statement equal sign x lookup open brackets first we need the lookup value the lookup value is the name we're looking for in the table in our case it's the name Christine so we'll select the cell that contains the name Christine which is H5 next we want the lookup array and the lookup array is the range where we're searching for the name or the range that contains all the names. The range that contains all the names starts here from A6 going all the way down to A115. That's our lookup array. I'll press F4 on my keyboard and that will turn the range from a relative reference to an absolute reference. So we're locking that range so it doesn't move when we drag the formula down. Next, comma, we want the return array. And this is the range from which we find the value that we're looking for. We're looking for donation amounts. So the range that contains all the donation amounts is the amount column. We start from here and we go all the way down to the end so it's B6 all the way to B115 again we'll press F4 to turn it into an absolute reference as well now our XLOOKUP statement is complete we have the lookup value we have the lookup array and we have the return array the last three parts of the syntax are optional and can be used when needed. We close brackets and press enter and voila, it was able to find Christine's donation from the column. So that's how XLOOKUP works and we can use autofill to find the donation amounts for everybody else on our small table on the right. And there we go. Some of the advantages of XLOOKUP are that it can look to its left, as mentioned earlier. It defaults to an exact match, and it also allows you to specify a range of cells instead of a column number. And that makes XLOOKUP more versatile and user-friendly. And that's it. That's how you can use X, the XLOOKUP function in Excel. It's a powerful tool that can significantly simplify your data analysis and I hope you give it a try.